Well, hey, everybody, this is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. This machine is changing the way that we think about batch brew coffee. The SCA award-winning technology allows you to explore an incredible range of flavors that you previously could not get from traditional batch brewers. And not only does this machine make amazing batch brew coffee, but it can also make tea, batched iced lattes, and batched cold brew in a very efficient way, making this a very versatile piece of equipment that also is beautiful, easy to train your staff on. I just can't say enough about this brewer. I've tasted what it's capable of. It really is mind-blowing. And I think if you're looking for a level up in your quality and versatility, you want to have a conversation piece also in your shop, I mean, the ground control Cyclops Brewer is the thing you should be exploring for your cafe. So go find out more information about this at groundcontrol.coffee. Again, I think this thing is the future of what we can expect from Batch Brew Coffee and beyond. So go visit them over at groundcontrol.coffee. Today's episode is also brought to you by La Marzocco. Since 1927, La Marzocco has been hand-making espresso machines in Florence, Italy, and has been serving the needs of specialty coffee retailers around the world, providing them with innovative and reliable espresso machines that keep up with demand and allow them to thrive as coffee entrepreneurs. And that's why I love La Marzocco is because they listen and they're dependable. One of their espresso machines that really exemplifies this is the new KB90 machine that has the straight-in locking portafilters for increased ergonomics and speed. It has auto flush for increased cleanliness and also built-in scales for accuracy, efficiency, and this is just one of the kinds of espresso machines that La Marzocco has to fit the needs of your shop. And now La Marzocco USA is available to help coffee entrepreneurs like you get the right equipment for your situation. To talk to a sales representative, just reach out info at lamarzocousa.com or you can visit their website and look at all they have to offer over at lamarzocousa.com. Okay, everyone. Well, today I want to talk about small problems that become big problems. And in particular, I want to talk about how you view the way you spend your time and energy and your, your mental capacity when it comes to problem solving in the cafe. This is something that I ended up talking about a little bit at Coffee Fest San Antonio, which I was at recently, where uh, we were talking about how you need to be engaged with what's going on in the cafe or else what's going on in the cafe will disengage from you just like you've disengaged from it until what's going on in the cafe becomes really unavoidably your problem and a big one at that. So the philosophy that a lot of coffee shop owners and I would say high-level operators like general managers can tend to default to is that they have bigger fish to fry, bigger problems to deal with than the small problems that tend to come up on the bar. It's kind of a broken sink, a little bit of a shortage on this item or that item. Somebody has kind of an attitude and, you know, we'll see how that goes. So we let these things go because there are a lot of high level things that you're thinking about that in the moment feel as though they are the most important. And of course, there are things that are urgent that call for your attention. And sometimes there are big problems that call for your attention, like somebody who is caught stealing or an espresso machine that went down at one of your locations. My contention is that most big problems that you deal with now have started out as small problems that we didn't necessarily have time for when they were small problems. This is a tricky thing because you don't necessarily have the capacity to stay in tune with every small problem there is in the cafe. This is why we delegate leadership in the form of management or head baristas, and we create communication structures where you're constantly talking with the people that you've delegated to so that you can stay informed and multiply the ears and eyes of the business so that the small problems can get solved before they become big problems. So if it's something to do with the maintenance of the space itself, I think we can look at this and be a little bit more apt to accept that preemptive and or preventative maintenance is a good thing. We know that if we don't take care of our equipment, it's going to break, right? 
Uh, maybe some of us don't know that as well as we should, but as soon as the espresso machine just blows up or something, we're going to think, you know, maybe I should have taken a little bit more care of this on a quarterly basis. Uh, and we have some episodes about that on the show, and I'll have those in the show notes for you. But preventative maintenance is not just for your cafe. Um, it's not just for your equipment. It's also something that you need to do with your staff. So if you're dealing with some big problems in terms of your people, a lot of it comes down to ignoring small problems that would have been evident to you early on if you were paying attention or were engaged in the everyday with your people. So having one-on-ones with your staff, hearing them out, giving a platform for feedback that's able to be a safe space for feedback, making sure that you're resourcing your people well so that they're not having to try to um, adjust to dysfunction that they know you're never going to deal with. These things begin to build up and build up in people's minds that demoralizes people. They end up leaving and then you're dealing with this big problem down the road of why do we have so much turnover? How did six people just quit? Or how did, you know, we have this uh, barista that just lost it on a customer out of nowhere. And, and I think the key is, you know, it's not just this situation that I mentioned about a barista losing it on a customer, but think about any big problem that you deal with and then attach the word out of nowhere to it and realize when you say out of nowhere or out of the blue, all that's saying is that you weren't paying attention. Because again, these things have their genesis in the mundane. And that's where excellence is formed. Excellence comes from doing the mundane consistently and well. And that includes communication, care for your staff, um, making sure that you're at least delegating to be able to do those things. And so if you want to avoid big problems in the future and you found yourself thinking, I just don't have time for these little fires here and there and these problems, think about the fact that maybe a year or more from the time you say that to yourself, those little problems that you ignore are going to turn into big problems. And if you want to avoid that, then you need to find a way to address them well and once in order for this dysfunctional cycle to stop and a virtuous cycle to begin. So I hope that you found this episode helpful. Our mindset and how we approach problems is such a big part of how well we do in all aspects of our businesses. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen today, and I will see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break, from keys to the shop.